here we are right now we're live mmgs and we're right here in that knee jerk in the futures market pre-market what is it the october unemployment rate 9.0 percent right now time is 5:30 a.m pacific standard time 11 4 2011 thing about it is now the they did have a huge knee-jerk negative they came right back in positive territory and that's exactly what we're looking for in futures is how they snap back on the number the headline the knee-jerk now they're positive 20 they were down there for a moment the knee-jerk got down I think towards 60 and then bounced and it happened very quickly and the October unemployment rate, 9.0%. So that's going to give everyone something to feel rosy about. Well, if that's the case, then let's see what kind of markups that we have. Let's see where our Google gap is. They were gapping it down. Here it is. Once again, that's the Google. And we'll be watching this one live on that opening bell as well. We have featured the first solar trade, how to steal that bid how to watch where they got short in pre-market and how they did the whole ball of wax and how the futures reacted to the monthly unemployment report and what is the public view of that and what are they sharing it so we'll go over the numbers that was the knee jerk in the futures market on Friday 11-4-2011 with your monthly unemployment report and they're reporting right now that it is a 9% versus 9.1 October private sector pay rolls up 104,000 non-farm pay rolls up 80,000 versus up 158,000 in September though so in October, of course, I'm talking about that. October is going to go down at 9.0 versus 9.1 September. So everybody's going to have an opinion. And the futures are kind of like up and down. And you have the Europe deal going on. That was the unemployment side of things. Um, and it's all about how the public is going to respond to the market buyer, the seller, high frequency machines, it doesn't matter. It's what that relationship is going to be today and where that reversal is that we called two days ago. We got down there at that bottom, the way that Google trade yesterday, it traded nice. It's still going to go, have to go right back through that 600 level. Has to go through the 600 level and then break through 602.50 to the upside here on Google. So one of the things that we're going to be watching is what this Apple does and how it trades. It's been trying to hold that 395 that I talked about the other day. It got down there. Hey, it's $8 leverage up right now. Still printing and it's still worth that for 275. We are going to be getting these call options today. I'm going to be doing a different video here in a little while separately. And the MMTs and I will, we have an hour now, not quite an hour anymore. But we have enough time to prepare for the weekly options expiration. The thing that the expiration lagged two weeks in a row is there was no program trading in the last hour into the closing bell so that hourly closing bell is a very 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 important thing because that's where you want to see that program trading coming in because if you're in below the market that's going to propel your gain higher and you can exit into the resistance and get net short okay there's going to be a lot of volatility and that is the conclusion of the monthly jobs report. 